you want to decompress for let's say 40 seconds and that's what I use the most uh, but really up to 60 seconds I wouldn't go longer than 60 seconds um, and then release the tension for about 20 seconds get a little break and you do cycles like that at least five times so you really don't need to do very many to get some benefit I would say at least five and that's actually a great place to start and then work your way up to 10 or 15 cycles so within about 20 minutes or so you should be done but I, as little as five minutes is so effective. So sometimes when you decompress, and especially early on, a lot of people will feel some soreness because we're stretching those disc fibers that are dry, that don't have well, good hydration. There's no blood flow to the discs. There's zero blood flow. So they're very vulnerable to degeneration or to herniations or to tears and things like that. So those tissues have no blood flow but they get nourished through movement. And so the problem is that when they're hurting, last thing you want to do is move. Um, so, and that's where decompression is great because decompression feels good. You take pressure off the disc and then release, decompress, release. So that interval creates movement that allows nourishment of those discs. Um, when you can feel discomfort, again, is, is typically after. And so that's why you want to do it very lightly, very carefully, and just really ease into it. So, you know, when you're stretching your spine, you're going to feel like you want to stretch it as hard as you can because it doesn't hurt. And that's where a lot of people go wrong because if you do that too quickly, too early, you'll decompress really hard and you're not going to know that it was too much until you're done. What we need is just a little bit of a stretch. So just a, you, just a barely small, gentle stretch just a small little stretch that's all we need and and then do your intervals like that and over time slowly if you want to increase the tension as you get used to it then then you can increase the strength of the pull over time